We've covered a total of 7 videos explaining the basics of HTML, from writing text, adding links, images, videos and audios, creating lists and inserting tables, as well as building a registration form. But any website on the internet is written in HTML, CSS and JavaScript. We know that HTML is used for building the structure of a web page. We use tags to define different elements, like paragraphs, links, tables and so on. While CSS allows to style a web page, like adding colors, changing the position of an image or a text, reducing the size of an image, add a border and more. JavaScript is a scripting language used to make websites more interactive, simply make them transform from a static mode to dynamic. Let's say pressing on a button, like the subscribe button. With JavaScript, you can add sounds and effects when pressing it. Today, we will focus and start a new series on CSS. We will be in need of this language to begin styling our web page, though you are required to know the basics of HTML if you want to learn CSS. Well, don't worry. Check out my HTML playlist down in the description and start now by learning HTML. Now, for those who know HTML and are ready to start with CSS, open your text editor and make sure to create an HTML file. Let's write a simple paragraph using the P tag and say learning CSS. Now where to write CSS? Let's go to the head section and add a tag called style. Inside this tag, you are able to write CSS. Let's say I want to change the color of the paragraph to red. What we should do is select the paragraph element by simply writing its name followed by curly brackets. Now, we need to add or mention a property, like the color property to change the color of a text. Now the value will be the color that I want my text to become. So let's say it will be red. And make sure to add a semicolon at the end. As you can see, learning CSS is in red. The default color of course is black, now we change the color to red. What you're seeing in front of you right now is called a CSS rule. First you select the element you want to style. Then you should mention the property as well as its value. Let's say I'm gonna add a h1 or a header, I'm gonna say CSS. Let's say I wanted to go to my style tag and change the color of my h1 to orange. So I'm going to say h1, color, and orange. As you can see, the header is in orange and the paragraph is red. But usually, when you are working as a team of developers, you will divide the work. Like for example, David and John will work on HTML, and Michelle and Kelly will work on CSS. What they will do is have separate files, one for HTML and one for CSS, then link the CSS file to the HTML file. In our case, we will create a new file and I'm gonna call it, let's say, file.css. So right click, new file, file.css. Now here I could write my CSS code. So let me go to my HTML file. I'm gonna cut this and paste it in my file.css. And make sure to fix this. Now let me take off the style tag. Hmm, that's weird. There's no styling on my elements. Why exactly? Well, it's pretty simple, because we didn't link our CSS file to our HTML file, and it's very easy to link it. Right here in the head tag, I want to add a link. Now I'm going to say something like REL, which means relationship or relation, and I'm going to say style sheet. What this means is that I am specifying the relationship between the HTML document and the link document, and we said style sheet because we are importing or linking a style sheet. Next, I'm going to say type, and I'm going to specify the type of the link document. Of course, it's a text slash CSS document. Then, it's time to link this link document. So, href, and right now, I'm just going to specify the name of my file, file.css. And the link tag is a self-closing link, so make sure to close it in this manner. As you can see, the styling applied on my elements, because I linked my CSS file to the HTML file. Now what if this CSS file was inside a folder? I'm gonna add it inside this folder. Well of course it won't work, because we are linking to our CSS file which is inside a folder. So instead of directly mentioning the name of the file.css, I need to first mention the folder which this file is inside. So it is inside folder 1, followed by a front slash, then the name of your file.css. As you can see the background color is the default which is white. 
I want to change it to let's say purple and inside my CSS file I'm gonna change the background color of the body tag so I'm gonna say body and specify a property which is background color now this property will change the background color so as a value I'm gonna specify the color which is purple as you can see the background color changed to purple all right that is it on introducing you to CSS so we've worked a bit in CSS and basically helped you discover the styling language. Make sure to subscribe and follow me along in this CSS tutorial. Want a full HTML tutorial? Check out this playlist. Or if you like space and want to visit it, Space Tourism is now available. Check this video out.